count bats at Nickajack Cave on Nickajack Reservoir. And uh, we're counting the bats. They're federally endangered species on TVA property, and it's our responsibility as an agency to maintain these populations that we have. So what we're doing today is meeting here to uh, count the bats. And we have done that annually for about the past 15 years. Yeah, so inside the cave, um, closer to where they're all uh, roosting at the moment, we've set up a thermal camera, which will more accurately capture them uh, during the emergence. Thermal video has been around for about three to four years, and it's a good way of uh, getting a more accurate count of uh, the emergence of gray bats as they leave their maternity colonies during the summertime. We, in natural resource management, we maintain the fence, so when something's damaged here, we come in and here we have some bars that are bent and then a fence that's going to need to be replaced uh, very soon. So uh, we work a lot with them and through the years past we've been with them on a lot of the bat counts. Uh, pretty much all of us are biologists and we have a love for this and so we're out here assisting every time we can. Bring it back into the office and uh, set it up on a computer and digitize everything and get a more accurate count of exactly how many bats are actually roosting in the cave at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the bats and as they emerge they're going to start coming out slowly but after a while they'll, they'll come out progressively faster and faster. We're going to count the bats uh, one minute and, and stop and take a one minute break then we'll start up again the following minute and count and then take another minute break. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to calibrate our count with a number of bats because at first the number of bats are really slow and they're easy to count, but after a while they get really fast. TVA and TWA has had a good partnership with this cave and many others for years, and we're working together on the, in the Tennessee Bat Working Group in the uh, White Nose Syndrome response effort here in Tennessee and uh, formed a good partnership over the years. Uh, currently, gray bats have not been found to have White Nose Syndrome, uh, and uh, we and TVA and other agencies uh, federal and NGOs are uh, surveying cave across the state to uh, survey for white nose syndrome and to date no gray bat caves or gray bats have been found positive in Tennessee. So there's so many. So there's so many. I'm going to break 2,000 this time.